One in every 10 people in the world are diabetic. One in every three people in the United States are pre-diabetic. And seven out of eight people in the United States will be pre-diabetic at some point in their life. Diabetes is a pandemic, even more serious than pandemic of 2020. It affects more people and it's just more serious. It has more impact on health. So how do you avoid diabetes? If so many people will have it, how can you not become one of them? To answer this question, first you need to learn how diabetes works and how it occurs. I'll tell you right now, it's not genetics. Genetics plays no role here. If it's type 1 diabetes, yes, okay, it may be genetics. But if it's type 2 diabetes, it's what you do. So don't listen to all those people who say, I have diabetes because it's genetics. No, it's not genetics. It's just that their eating habits are bad. But what eating habits do you need to improve to not have diabetes? So let me visualize some stuff for you so you understand it better. Guys, good news for you. I did record that part when I visually explained how diabetes works. Bad news, however, is that it was trash. So enjoy this part when I, in this car, explain to you how diabetes works. So first of all, I'll start with explaining what insulin is. Insulin is a hormone that our body produces in order to regulate a lot of stuff. But for this video, the most important stuff that insulin regulates is blood glucose level. Insulin is responsible for regulating blood glucose level. But what exactly does insulin do? Insulin literally tells the blood cells to open up and take glucose, which then they use for energy. But when there's too much glucose, when we eat too much sugar or carbohydrates, cells just don't need that much glucose, they don't use that much energy. So in order to regulate the amount of energy they're getting, because they don't need that much, they start to ignore insulin, since insulin is telling them to take glucose, which means that the body now needs to produce more insulin in order to move this glucose out of the blood. This is called insulin resistance. And insulin resistance is the main cause of diabetes. What pre-diabetes is, is literally an insulin resistance. So everyone with type 2 diabetes have insulin resistance. So what we actually need to avoid when avoiding diabetes is insulin resistance. Diabetes happens when your body cells are so adjusted to insulin that they can't even take glucose. Of course they do take some because cells require energy, but they don't take a lot of it. Most of the glucose you eat stays in the blood vessels. However, your body has some me mechanisms to remove glucose from your blood vessels. The problem is that high blood sugar can damage your organs. That's why diabetes is so dangerous. Knowing all that stuff, how do you avoid diabetes? As we just learned, diabetes is caused by glucose and insulin. You cannot affect your insulin but you can affect your glucose intake. If your body is constantly getting glucose, it means you're doing something wrong. The first step to avoid diabetes will be to eat three times a day maximum. Eating four times a day, five times a day, or even six times a day is not healthy. If you want to take it seriously, you can eat two times or even one time a day. One time a day is perfectly fine. Of course, you'll need to eat more food if you reduce the number of meals. But as I said before, it's actually healthier to have smaller number of meals. So if your body is not constantly getting glucose, your cells don't get too much of it. So they don't adjust their receptors and they react to insulin normally. Insulin resistance is not developing, which means you're doing everything right. But there is another thing you can do to avoid diabetes. And this thing is as important as the previous one. You need to eat less carbs and sugars. Because, well, as we learned before, body turns carbs into glucose. And sugars is literally half glucose. So by eating these foods, your blood glucose raises. If you will only eat fats and proteins, you will not get additional glucose. So lower your intake of carbohydrates and sugars. That's pretty easy to do. There is a thing called glycemic index. It's a number from 1 to 100 that is assigned to every food. So the glycemic index is measuring how badly the blood sugar is affected by the food. Eggs have a glycemic index of 0 because they don't contain carbohydrates. Try to only eat foods that have glycemic index less than 50. The closer to 0, the better. You may ask now, but glucose is energy. And if I stop eating these foods and stop getting glucose, will my body lose energy? No, because your liver always produces glucose. What does it use to produce it? It uses proteins that you eat. It cannot produce more than the body needs. So this is a healthy way to get glucose. For a healthy person, blood sugar is always at the constant level. It doesn't spike up or down without reason, only when a person eats. Again, it is normal if your blood sugar rises when you eat, but it's not supposed to be high always. It's supposed to be high three times a day or two times a day, or even one time a day if you eat one time a day. Then it is healthy and then you don't get diabetes. I can talk all day about all stuff related to diabetes, and how it affects your body. For example, if exercising affects diabetes or if fat affects diabetes. But this is supposed to be a short video. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was interesting or useful for you. I see you in the next one.